everyone, it's AJ and it is our Something to Do Saturday, which is our new program. It's kind of a little bit like uh, Trash to Treasure if you've done that before. It's kind of a little bit like At Home with AJ if you've done that before. And it's going to be kind of a little bit like an out and about sometimes if you've done that before. So today, because January is National Get Organized Month, we are going to try and get organized. I know it doesn't look like I'm organized right now. i got a hot mess going on here on the counter. But we are going to be upcycling some picture frames so that you can kind of get organized. So if you've got some picture frames laying around the house, or better yet, if you have some that are broken, that don't have the glass in them any longer, which sometimes seems to be a real problem at my house, don't throw them away. I'm going to show you a really couple really cool things, as a matter of fact, that you can do to upcycle them, get a new use out of them, and hopefully maybe get you a little more organized in the new year, right? Yay! So, the first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to actually, I'm going to tell you about the supplies first. The supplies we are going to provide you with a picture frame in the vestibule and some little cool little clothes pins and some little string to go along with that which is somewhere again in this hot mess that I have here. Um, oh here it is over here. I found it. I found it. I found it. Yay. See I'm doing all right in the new year right? Um, so we'll give you some little string. We'll give you some little clothes pins and we'll have various picture frames out there for you in case you don't have one at home and you will be able to do this project. So the first one I'm going to show you, your picture frame won't be this big, sorry. Um, I am on a budget, you know, both at the library and at home. So the picture frame that I have here, this, this one here, um, we're going to make a little uh, envelope or picture organizer. We're going to take that apart, we're going to put our little string on it, uh, put some clips on it, and then you can clip bills to it, you can clip pictures to it, you can hang it in your kitchen and put recipes on it. Um, I've, I've got another couple picture frames here that I'm going to show you some other stuff to do. Just so you got some other fun ideas to do with your picture frame. And you're like, ah, I don't want one of those. I've got another couple other cool things here that, that'll be kind of fun to do. Um, and now is a really great time to kind of think about some of these projects. Um, with the holiday just getting over with, there's a lot of good clearances right now. Yay! Because you know I love a good sale. It's almost as good as free, right? So even though you are getting string and clips in your uh, little packet, I actually grabbed these because I thought they were super cute and they were half off. Um, and the clips are already included. It, it's got these cool little Christmas lights, my favorite little Christmas lights, C9s. Um, so I'm going to actually, even though Christmas is over, it's never over for me. <laughs> like the Elf movie, ooh, let's start getting ready for next year. Um, and what a great way to be organized, right? Let's start getting ready for Christmas in January. Hot dog. Um, so I'm actually going to do mine in kind of a little Christmas theme so that you can, again, hang your Christmas cards maybe or, or organize your receipts as you buy things if you're buying all year. Hey, what a great way to do that. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do, regardless of the project that you're choosing, is to take your picture frame apart. And I'm going to show you really quickly how I did that. Um, and kind of talk you through that and then we'll start putting some fun stuff together. So let me show you how to carefully take your picture frame apart. Depending on what kind of frame you have will determine how you're going to take it apart. Some have paper backs, um, some have these little uh, staples in here. Kind of depends. If you have one with a paper back, you probably want to start with a razor knife and just kind of cut that paper off. Uh, if you have staples like this one does, um, butter knife, a thin butter knife works pretty handy, um, and a pair of pliers with kind of a nice little um, needle nose on the end, and you're just going to go along and pull these staples either up or out depending on, you know, how, how good they're in there, um, and whether or not you're going to put your back back on. Um, if you're going to replace the back and put a new back on, you can pull the staples completely out. If you're going to try and reuse a portion of your frame, if you need that cardboard or wood backing, then you'll just want to bend your staples up. 
So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna bend these all up so that we can finish taking our picture frame apart to get it ready to repurpose. So once you've taken the back off of your picture frame, whether you've had to uh, cut the paper off of it uh, with a razor knife or pull it apart with some pliers, um, if your picture frame had glass, you can go ahead and take the glass out of it. And they have a stray staple there. Um, of course, that one staple is holding the whole entire glass in. Yay, go you with staple. Um, we are then ready to, there go the scissors, now they won't cut right because you should never drop your scissors or try not to drop your scissors. Um, also, don't put them in your pocket. Miss Lori doesn't like it when I put my scissors in my pocket. Um, because when you drop them, your blades get out of alignment and that's why they don't cut. So try very hard not to drop your scissors like I just did because then they're junk. So once you get all of the staples pulled out, if your frame has glass, you can go ahead and pop your glass right out of there. And I don't know why this still isn't popping out. It's still being difficult. Um, but you'll have to decide how you want to run your string. Um, this is a rather deep frame, and um, because it's a it's a it's a bigger picture frame, and generally the bigger ones tend to be a little deeper. Um, so I am not going to use the the backing that I took out of my frame. This this ugly picture thing that I threw on the floor down there. Um, because it sits right up against the glass and because I have almost an inch of depth in this frame, I am going to kind of run my string sort of in the middle, so to speak, of that frame. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see, um, but, but as far as the depth is concerned, I'm not gonna be able to good, get a good angle with this. But I'm gonna try and attach my string here in the middle, and then my backing is, is gonna go back here a little bit so that I've got I've got a little bit of room, especially um, since I am gonna do a Christmas theme, and this is probably something that maybe I would hang cards on, or I could hang little ornaments on it maybe. Um, I'm not gonna want my back right up against my uh, string. Now, if you're doing things where you're gonna clip maybe um, some envelopes or use it as a, a, an everyday organizer or pictures, um, it, it's not gonna matter as much. But if you have something that has uh, more dimension or more depth to it, um, you're gonna wanna try and find a, a thicker frame so that you can kind of keep your, keep some distance in between the string and the back of your frame. And the really cool thing about these two um, that I didn't mention is that you don't necessarily have to put a new new paper back or, or put your back um, on here. You can actually kind of do it in a friends type of thing. Can I can I get rid of this without breaking it? Let's see. I don't want to lay it on the floor because then the dogs will come along and walk on it. We know how that'll end up. Um, but uh, you could if you wanted to, you know, run your string across here and just you know put it up against your wall, sort of, you know, friends door style. Um, from you know the show Friends, how they have the little frame around the little peak hole. Um, you could do something like that. So now that we have our, our frame completely apart, um, I'm actually going to wipe it down a little bit because it's a little dusty and gross. Um, but then we are going to take our uh, string, and in this case, I'm going to use this fancy string, and we're just going to go along the inside. And again, I'm going to I'm going to aim. Um, as close as I can. There's another little lip here. Again, I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, um, but there's a nice little lip in there, and I'm going to try and get my string as close to the front of the frame as possible um, so that there's, so there's some space in between my front and my back so that I have some dimension. Again, if I wanted to hang ornaments um, or do some, some cards, you know how you kind of lay the cards over, that'll give me a little room. Um, so what we're going to do, again, like see, once I clean mine up, is we're simply going to take our string and we're going to attach it to the uh, inside of our frame. And the dogs don't seem to like that. So um, if you're working with a smaller frame, and I'll use this one for an example, um, because probably most of the ones that are in the vestibule are going to be small like this, you can simply run your string right along the back of your frame. You'll just staple or hot glue that along the back of your frame. Do I have another? Let me see here because I got this one that's a 
them my little my other little Christmas one. Um, and this is one I just I got I got from the dollar store that I was gonna uh, frame something at Christmas time and I didn't. Um, and this one because it's it's cheap plastic. Uh, you can just hot glue right along here, but you're just gonna glue your little strings right on there. So um, I'm gonna wipe this down and I'm gonna staple my strings and I'll show you how I do that and then we'll do the next step. So I have taken my uh, string and cut it so that it's approximately the length that I want it to fit in here. And I've cut my three and I've kind of put them where I want to. I took a Christmas card, um, kind of measured how would it sit on there, a little bit fussed with that. So I'm gonna take my staple gun and I'm gonna staple my string right on the little edge of the frame again to the outer side and then when I'm done stapling it I'm also going to hot glue it one just so that I don't worry about it um, slipping out and two so that um, my string doesn't unwind because this is a braided string um, and I don't want my string to fray or uh, come apart and of course I'm out of staples already so again I'm just gonna go along here I'm gonna staple my strings in and then I'm gonna go back along and put some hot glue just to secure it a little extra and to keep my string from fraying if you are using the supplies provided in the vestibule you'll get this kind of string um, which is a little thinner you can probably skip the stapling portion if you wanted to it probably wouldn't um, hold very well um, but you'll definitely want to uh, make sure you get a good amount of hot glue on there with this string so I'm gonna fill my stapler and continue attaching my string so now that I have my uh, string stapled in I'm just going to add a dab of glue right over top of the staple and the end of the string again for just for um, to get it extra secure in case I decide I'm going to hang ornaments on it and also so that my string doesn't start to unravel and uh, get all hairy and once we get the string secured we're ready to put the back on and what I did with the back um, again because that picture that was in here fit right into this little grooved edge so it was going to be right up against the glass um, I just took a cardboard box I had some cardboard uh, cut it into cardboard pieces I cut it to fit this other edge here so again I have that little bit of depth and dimension so I have my cardboard that I cut to fit into my frame and I have some heavy duty sort of recycled Christmas paper it's almost like the um, like a paper bag material as far as weights concerned um, so I am actually going to uh, hot glue my paper around the edge and then I'm just going to hot glue my cardboard to the back of that um, rather than trying because my cardboards in two pieces um, trying to get the paper to kind of secure to that I'm going to secure the paper to the frame and then the cardboard to the paper in the frame so I have cut my paper to fit in there I'm just going to hot glue it again around this this back edge yeah I hope you can see that um, and so I'll have I'll have about this much space in between my strings and the back so I'm gonna hot glue my paper in and then I'm going to hot glue my cardboard in so I've got the uh, paper glued on that uh, outer edge I hot glued it and I glued my fingers a little bit too so I now have kind of this cool little thing going on up front here um, the paper didn't line or the string didn't line up quite the way I wanted it to but mm, close enough and once I get the cards on it's not gonna matter so now that I have the uh, wrapping paper on there I'm gonna go ahead and put this cardboard back on just so that you know as I'm hanging the cards if I bump it even though it's up against the wall 
um, there's a chance that it could rip and I don't want that. So I have cut a couple pieces of cardboard to fit into the frame and I'm just going to go ahead and glue that in there now. I'm going to use that hot glue, go around those edges and glue that cardboard so that that paper has a backing um, and, and sits, uh, sits up against it so that it doesn't rip when we, if we were to brush up against it, hanging our cards or our ornaments or whatever we're going to put in our fun little frame. So I have my cardboard glued to the back so I got a nice solid back now. I've got a fun little front. Maybe I'll put a little bow up in the corner. But now I have a fun little place to hang my Christmas cards as they come in. Organize my Christmas cards. And again, this is fun for uh, a nice Christmas gift or to use at Christmas time. But if you were to use just everyday wallpaper or some cardstock or even simply paint the back, uh, use fabric, and then it becomes uh, a bill organizer or you can clip photos on it. We can take these fun little um, clothes pins that we have. I could get them off of the strip. Just throwing everything around today. Um, so if you have these fun little clothes pins and you had a photo, you could organize your photos this way. You could clip your bills on here too if you want to. That's not very fun. Um, and again, there will be some clothes pins in the uh, accessory package that you'll be able to find in the vestibule. You'll be able to pick up supplies for the project during our regular business hours. Um, make sure that you check the website uh, or our Facebook page. Give the library a call just so that you make sure you know when our hours are. As of this video, we are still currently just curbside, but you are able to come into the vestibule and pick up a packet. If you're not comfortable coming into the vestibule to pick up a packet, uh, when you arrive at the library, just give somebody a call and they will bring it out to your car. 2240239. Uh, and that information will be at the end of the video as well. So this is just a fun way to kind of upcycle a picture frame give it a new life if you're maybe thinking about oh i don't like that art anymore i want to you know get rid of it well hey save the frame because you can do something cool with it um, and be a little more organized right so one of the other things that i did um i had this fun little christmas card thank you harbor vet um dr hall is is lovely and they sent uh flick and farkas and us a, a lovely christmas card and it was super cute and i didn't want to get rid of it so I took one of these little dollar store frames and I'm actually just going to, I, I could cut the card, but mm, I'm going to be lazy, especially because um, my grown up scissors don't cut worth a ding dong right now because I dropped them on the floor. Um, so I've, I've had to go to my child scissors now. Um, so I'm just going to pop that into my little photo frame and again because it's a christmas card if you didn't have glass in this frame it wouldn't matter um, when you when you have pictures photos on photo paper you want something covering them because the dust and everything that's in the air um, will affect that the quality the the ink that's on there whatever a christmas card not so much and and really unless you have some significant sentimental attachment to it um, it's not really that big a deal if, if after a couple Christmases it's kind of looking worn and you gotta um, throw it out. So what I'm gonna do now that I have this in this fun little, isn't this just the cutest little picture with the little paw print and the little lights? So I have some fun little junk here. I've got um, some little leftover Christmas lights from some other craft and I have this cute little doggy ornament which I absolutely love because he's not all brown and he's not all black so he kind of represents both of my boys. Um, so I'm just going to hot glue those on there and make this into a nice little Christmas decoration because yeah, I know the holidays are over, but hey, I can pack this away with my Christmas stuff. I will open it up next year and go, oh my gosh, I forgot all about that. It'll be like having a brand new decoration. And, and again, the neat part about this is right now, you're probably, if you haven't already, you're thinking about throwing those cards out. Well, guess what? If you, if you have one that you really, really like and think, oh, this is so pretty, well, hey, put it in a frame, make it a Christmas decoration. And the ornaments 
are dirt cheap right now. If you if you hurry out to the store, there's still some left. You can pick up a really good deal. You know, 50, 75 percent off, and uh, jazz up your frame. So I'm going to take my glue gun. I'm going to throw a couple little dabs of glue on here and turn my Harbor Vet Clinic Christmas card into a Christmas decoration for next year. So with a little bit of hot glue and a couple of little holiday leftovers, my Christmas card has now become a nice little festive holiday decoration. So I will be happy, happy, happy about that. So the next one I'm going to do is kind of a neat one. Um, I have this uh, frame here. Um, yes, it did. Okay. Came from the Goodwill because I'm thinking, boy, oh boy, when did I have something like that? Um, I do like the wood on this. It's pretty super cool. I was able to get some really neat window clings uh, on clearance after Christmas. Um, and it was just neat. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. I kind of got a plan now. So much like the other frame, I'm going to take the back off of this. We're going to add some paper to it. We're going to put some window cling on the front of it. And we're going to hot glue some knobs on there. And it's actually going to be a nice little hook for my aprons or my pot holders. So I'm going to go ahead and take my frame apart, add some paper, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. So I've got my frame taken apart. I measured my wallpaper that hopefully it will fit in there nice and neatly. Uh, I've got my frame cleaned up or my glass rather. So I'm going to put my glass so that I don't break it. Um, back into my frame. And I was a little concerned about the, the backing that was in my frame. It was a little warped, so I did cut a piece of cardboard. Um, and also because I took my staples completely out um, so that I could work with the paper. I don't know how tightly it's going to fit in there. So I'm just now going, I'm laying my paper into my frame. And hopefully it's going to lay nice and flat. If it doesn't, because there's a little bit of, of wiggle room um, in between where, where the outer edge of the frame is in the glass, you've got a little bit of overhang. You can actually put a tiny dot of hot glue just make sure that if you have a high temp glue gun that you put it on the low temp because if you put it on the high temp um, there's a possibility that you can crack the glass um it shouldn't but sometimes it does so you just want to be careful with that so i'm just going to put a dot of hot glue in the corners here just to kind of secure that paper down a little bit um so that it's not sliding all over the place because nothing's more frustrating than than you know, trying to get all your backing in, you get everything put together, everything back in place, and then, you know, you realize, oh no, the paper's crooked. Um, so I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue in each corner, um, just to kind of hold that down a little bit. And again, because that piece is, is warped, I do want it in there because my cardboard was just a tad bit uh, too short, but it'll keep it from having a, a bubble look. You don't want it all, you don't want your paper to be all wavy and bubbly looking um, and looking warped when you just put it together. So, hopefully mine won't. It's a little wrinkled, but that's okay. Um, and wallpaper is a, is a great thing to, to use for crafting. Um, you can pick it up. I've, I found rolls at the Goodwill and at the Salvation Army. Um, you go to J&W Paint, a lot of times they have um, things that were sampled rolls or discontinued and you can get them really, really cheap. Um, and it's a fun way to add some, some pattern or some different colors into your um, decor without actually putting wallpaper on your walls because if you've ever had to remove wallpaper or wallpaper border, um, you may not be as much of a fan of it. Um, having to take it down, it's, it's tough. Um, so I, again, my, my piece of cardboard was, was a little short. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and put my little warped uh, background back in there. Um, but again, uh, that's, that's just so that my paper will be secure up against there. 
um, and, it, and it won't uh, it won't reflect that warp. So now what I'm going to do because I pulled my staples out just because um, since I was laying a new paper in there I didn't I didn't want my paper to catch on there and rip it's really hard if if you have the patience and are talented enough to um, go ahead and, and put your you know cut the paper and get it in there without having to tape all your staples out well by all means go ahead because you know it's a lot of work um, especially because then you got to turn around and, and put the stuff back in um, but which is what I'm going to do now I'm going to secure that back in there um, and then I will be ready to add the window cling and my fun handles so I'm going to do that well, I got this uh, super cute I guess they're actually wall stickers I thought they were window clings they are wall stickers um, for 50 cents on uh, the after uh, Christmas sale at Walmart. So I'm actually going to stick these onto my little glass frame that I have here. And then I'm gonna take some handles and hot glue them on. And then hopefully I'll have a super cute little apron rack. So, um, and, and if you watched, uh, you got to see the videos that I did at Christmas time. Uh, we did a frame where we put some window clings on it, made it uh, something super cute. So, um, uh, normally I don't measure things, but do I want to eyeball this or do I want to feel like maybe I want to measure this? But maybe I'll just go with it. I'll be brave, I'll be bold. Okay. Okay, so once I get done wrestling with my uh, little wall stickers and hot glued my knobs on, I now have this cool little thing to hang up my aprons or my poplars or my dish towels or whatever I want and if I decide I want to change it out maybe I feel like it's too Christmassy I would never feel like it was too Christmassy but maybe if my husband you know makes that comment much like he does about the Christmas music or when are we going to stop doing that um, we can actually change this out and put something else on it um, the cool thing about glass and I'll show you in another video coming up because uh, I'm going to talk about organization again next Saturday um, is that when you have glass you can actually use um, dry erase markers or those really cool chalk pens um, so you could actually write on here if you wanted to and it's you can wipe it off and it's really cool so there's just a couple of really cool really simple ideas to kind of uh, you know step up your little picture frames upcycle them make them into something cool and fun and organizational for you because after all remember that january is you know national get organized month and also remember that supplies will be available in the vestibule they are limited that's on a first come first serve basis when they're gone they're gone and i'm sorry if they're gone when you get there um I do have to stay on a budget, um, but we will provide you with a small picture frame, some of the string, and uh, some of the clips. Um, a dog is not included. Um, lucky you. Uh, you can pick up the supplies. Again, currently we are only open for curbside, but make sure that you check with the library just to confirm those hours. Uh, we are Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and Saturday from 10 until 2. But just call and check just to make sure and again if you don't feel comfortable coming into the vestibule when you arrive just give us a call and somebody can bring the supplies out to you um, so that's all for this week hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please like comment and share because when you share then your friends can become our friends and who doesn't want more friends right we do and be sure that you share your results in the comments because I'd love to see what you did. You guys always do an amazing job. So stay safe, stay well. I will see you real soon, hopefully right here next Saturday. Bye.